Hello, today's video is for all of you who are working on Python skills and I'm happy to recommend a resource that will cater to all of you, those who are starting out and those who are looking for more advanced resources. Initially, I was planning to make a video about Automate Boring Stuff with Python, a book which I know was available online for free and is suitable for beginners. But imagine how nicely I was surprised to discover that the author of the book not only wrote several other books but also decided to publish them online for free so thank you all and sorry for not being able to pronounce your last name so here they are books for all types of audiences uh, some are for children or teenagers some for beginners and for those who would like to learn more advanced skills as well I do recommend you to check them out however in this video I decided to have a closer look at beyond the basic stuff with Python by the way despite that the author is sharing all those books for free it doesn't mean that you are not able to support him to do so you can buy one of his books on Amazon or directly from the publisher which is no search press or you can donate some money to him uh, or support his patron page he also has a YouTube channel which you can check out and subscribe to so uh, today I would like uh, to have a look at Beyond Basic Stuff with Python, which is one of the books uh, which Al is uh, providing for free. Perhaps uh, you already watched a video by Rick uh, where he was reviewing Series Python. This is a bit of a similar book, but uh, where which allows you to explore more advanced topics with Python but uh, of course it contains slightly different uh, topics. So there is a couple of chapters which I definitely recommend you to check out. For example, chapter one, which is dealing with errors and asking for help. This is a very valuable skill when you are learning to code, uh, when you are trying to debug your code. Then chapter three talks about code formatting with Black, and uh, Black is a Python library which helps you with code formatting. And it's very important to be sure that your code is nicely and neatly written. Chapter four, choosing understandable names. Uh, now, this is difficult. And uh, when I was personally, when I was starting to code, I would spend so much time trying to find uh, meaningful names. And definitely that's a nice read to uh, give you some suggestions on how to start naming your code to start how to name your functions and variables to make it readable for yourself, for your future self, but also for other people who will be looking at your code. Then chapter 10, writing effective functions. My last video was just a very short introduction to functions, but here you can find much more information and writing uh, good functions, that's a really important skills when you are learning to code. Then chapter 13, measuring performance and big O algorithm analysis. And now this is something what probably programming students uh, come across. And then uh, this type of topic is often uh, uh, something what you don't look at uh, when you are learning to code by yourself. So I always find it uh, very good to try to dive into topics which would be taught at the university so you can have a better understanding of how to write effective code. And then chapter 15 to 17 are focused on object-oriented programming and classes. And this is also a bit more advanced of a topic, which uh, you don't uh, learn when you are starting to code. But uh, when your skills are progressing, this is something really good to, to be more effective in writing your code. And also uh, one more resource I would like to recommend you, which uh, was recommended by Al uh, in his resources is Learn X uh, in Y Minutes. And this is a website which is uh, basically, it's like a one pager website uh, for Python, uh, where you will find all important things um, to learn uh, basics and more advanced code. Uh, it's, it's like a, cheat sheet uh, for Python. So I think it's good to like have a look at it and see if there are any gaps in your knowledge. Okay, uh, that's all from me today. I hope you liked this video. If yes, please hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'll be publishing some more videos shortly and also let me know what topics you would like to see here.